Welcome back to the ProPonics YouTube channel, your go-to channel for all things hydroponics. I'm your host, Charlie, and today we're exploring hydroponic growing mediums, or media. If you're starting a new hydroponic venture, you've likely decided on a hydroponic system and assembled it either from a kit or a DIY project. But now comes a crucial part, choosing the right growing medium. It's like picking the right home for your plants. If you've been bewildered by the variety out there, fret not. We're here to demystify hydroponic growing mediums and help you find that perfect match for your plants. So let's get growing. Growing medium is essentially the material in which your plants grow. Think of traditional gardening. Soil is the king here, providing a cozy home for plants to sprawl out. But hydroponics is a bit of a rebel, ditching soil for a more flexible setup. But of course, our plants can't just float around. They need something solid to hold on to, something that mimics the support and nutrient delivery that soil offers. This is where our hydroponic growing medium enters the scene. It provides that crucial support and a place for the roots to grow around while ensuring maximum nutrient exposure. Imagine it like a cozy, nutrient-rich hammock where your plants can recline and soak up all the good stuff. Now, when it comes to choosing your own medium, there's a smorgasbord of options. Each comes with its own set of pros and cons suited to different types of plants and systems. Let's break them down. Perlite. It's like the popcorn of the hydroponic world. Light, airy, and fantastic for drainage. Vermiculite. This one retains water well and is great for seedlings and cuttings. Cocoa Coir. Made from coconut husks, it's a renewable and pH neutral choice that holds water well. Rock wool, an excellent medium for starting seeds, but beware, it's not biodegradable. Expanded clay pellets, also known as hydroton. These little balls are reusable and provide excellent aeration and drainage. And for those early stages, consider using starter plugs or oasis cubes. They're like the cribs for your seedlings to rest in before they're ready to move on to bigger things. Choosing the right growing medium is akin to choosing the right home for your plants. It's all about finding that sweet spot where your plants can thrive. You'll want to consider a few factors, like the type of hydroponic system you have, the plants you're growing, and the climate conditions of your growing area. It's a bit like matchmaking. You want the perfect partnership between your plants and their medium, ensuring a happy, healthy grow. Now let's delve a little deeper into each choice. First up, perlite, a favorite among many, known for its lightweight and porous nature. It's a wick system's best friend due to its excellent wicking action, and it also shines in drip systems. However, strong water flow systems like ebb and flow might just sweep it away. A smart hack is to mix 50-50 with cocoa coir or vermiculite to amp up its stability. Speaking of cocoa coir, this organic medium made from cocoa husks is a champ in holding water, making it great for drip and ebb and flow systems. Although its drainage could use a boost, mixing it with perlite or expanded clay pebbles can help balance out its retention and drainage capabilities. Now, onto vermiculite. It's like that sponge in your kitchen, soaking up two to three times its weight in water. Great for drip systems, but beware, too much water can suffocate your plants. A 50-50 mix with perlite can create a more aerated environment for your plants to breathe easy. Rockwool's rising stardom in hydroponics comes from its resistance to microbes and excellent water and air retention. However, it does have a bit of a diva moment as it needs a pH-balanced water soak before its stage debut in your system. Once prepared, it's versatile and can join any hydroponic show, be it drip, ebb and flow, deep water culture, or NFT systems. Expanded clay pebbles, or hydroton, are light yet heavy enough to anchor your plants and they resist being washed away. They do require frequent hydration due to their quicker drying nature, but they team up well with drip and ebb and flow systems. With the right growing medium, your hydroponic journey can flourish. It's all about pairing the right medium with the right system, and maybe even blending a couple of mediums to meet your plant's needs perfectly. Remember, a happy medium leads to happy, thriving plants. If you like what you just saw, go ahead and click the link in the description to find a full detailed article on this video's topic. And if you learned something new today, hit that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more hydroponics educational content and visit proponics.co.uk for in-depth articles on all things hydroponics. Grow smarter with proponics. And until next time, happy growing.